Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. We're going to be doing a Q&A. Everyone has been asking for it. We're finally going to film it. Um, don't mind how I look. Jason's hair is crazy. I just got out of the shower. I got out of the shower a little while ago. But guys, guess what? I got my belly button done. Wait, can they even see it? Look. Isn't it so cute? Okay, anyways. <laughs> um, Allura's napping, so we have limited time to answer some of them. We're just going to start off. I take a bunch of screenshots of random questions and we're just going to start answering them. So. Question for Brooke is, is it hard being a mom because it looks super easy for you? Uh, <laughs> I think there's certain things that like make it harder than others. Obviously, like when your kid's screaming, crying, or like their teeth are coming in, or they're just like cranky, they're tired, it's going to be harder those times because you're just like, oh my gosh, like, you know what I mean? And then other times it's easier, like... When she's in a good mood, when we're outside playing, things like that. So, like, it's really, I think it really honestly just depends on the day. Like, what's going on and what's my mood and Laura's mood and, like, people around us and just how that is. But overall, it's okay. What is the most difficult part of being a teen parent and what motivates you? Part, honestly, people, I think a lot of people, like, stereotype it and think, like, oh, my God, because you're a teen parent, it must be so hard. You can't, like, hang out with people and whatever. But honestly, you're just like a parent like any other parent. I mean, sometimes like um, like financial things could be an issue, but like really not not so much for like us just because of like my job and like what we do. But um, if like I didn't have the job I have and Jason had the job we, like he has, and like that could be a problem. And especially if we were really like, like kind of like going out people and like want to do this and this and this and like have to like everything like that, then it would kind of be harder. But honestly, it's just like There's not like any a specific other, thing like, that's like we are both on the same page when it comes to parenting and how you decide to raise Allura. For example, her bedtime, food she eats, yeah. and stuff like that. Um, yeah, we're pretty much on the same page. Honestly, like, I kind of started everything like that because she obviously, like, just lived with me for over a year and we just recently moved in. So, like, her bedtime, she already had a set bedtime. I already knew what she was eating, what time dinner, like, stuff like that. But we're on the same page with it just because it's just what works. And yeah. plus... Like, for, like, bedtime and everything like that, Jason's, like, at work, so I'm basically just here with myself, um, besides the days that he has off. Who watches Allure while you and Jason are at school, work, friends, etc.? Uh, we don't go to school. We are homeschooled. And it's summer. Yeah, it's summertime now, but, um, I am going into my senior year. Jason's going into his senior year, unless he decides to, like, a GED and whatnot. When I'm at work, she watches it. Yeah, Whenever obviously, when he's somewhere. at work, I watch her. Whenever she goes somewhere with her mom or something, I watch a little. Yeah, and, like, like this one time he hang out with his friends, and, like, I watch her. When I hang out with my friends, he'll watch her. It's just, like, whatever works, and it's just, like, I guess we're each other's babysitter. <laughs> this is for, like, both of us. What was your reaction to finding out Brooke was pregnant? Uh, I was at work, but it was, like, a different job that I had. You're at work? Wait, you're out of focus. I'm closer. No, you're too close. Oh. Uh. <laughs> uh, yeah, Jason apparently was at work. I just remember I texted him, and yeah. I was like, I'm pregnant. And he was like, no, you're not. And I was like, yes, I am. Yeah, scary. <laughs> How did you come up with Allura's name? I saw it online, but it was, like, spelled different. It was spelled yeah. without the O. No, without like, the U. No, it was without the O. No, because we added the U. A lot I, see, of I saw both. I saw yeah, there's a lot of different ways to spell it. U, but I added both. And like he was like, do you like it? And I was like, yeah, it's super cute, it's super pretty. So, that's her name. Do you plan on moving out when you're 18? I would like to, but it's I, whenever I think we're ready. I definitely want to move out when Jason's 18 because obviously we're um, 11 months apart. And he'll be 18 before I'm 18. So, like, you can't really get an apartment until you're 18 here. Yeah. So, he'll have to, like, get one. But obviously, I'd, like, pay some of it, too. Like, we'd split it. And then... We would obviously live there. Um, I definitely want to do that whenever we can, just because I like to like have my own space and I don't really like relying on other people. But whenever we're ready, I think. Yeah. How slash where did we meet? Uh, through like mutual friends in school. Yeah, we went to school together. We're besties. <laughs> yeah, we were good friends before we dated. Yeah, for like a while. And then it was like, the summer before freshman year, well, my freshman year, we were like talking a lot. We were friends, and then when the school year started, we started dating. Um, what was Laura's first word, Mama? It was. Yes, I have videos of her saying Mama. She didn't say Dada for mad long. I feel like she said something else. No. 
for sure is mama. And she started saying everything. She says so much now. She says like hot, cold, touch. Um, she says woof a lot because Jason has a dog. So. If you say dog, she'll say woof. Yeah. She can growl at you if you're like, what's a dinosaur thing? If you show her a monkey, she'll be like, ooh, ooh. Yeah. She just knows like a lot of sounds. She knows some words. I'm trying to teach her more, obviously. She's only like 16 months old, so. What are your plans for college, Jason? Are you going to college? I don't think so. Jason doesn't want to go to college. I do want to go to college. Um, I'd go to college if like there's a career that I end up really wanting to do and it's like essential for it. Yeah. But probably not right away. Jen, did both your parents support the decision of you two moving in together to raise Alora? My parents did, definitely. Um, okay, so basically what happened, I've talked about it like on my TikTok some, like a little bit, um, not really on here. But so I, for a while I've wanted to move out for literally, I've wanted to move out forever. Um, my mom basically told me, she was like, yeah, you can, like, I would rather you not, but, like, I understand why you want to and everything like that. Um, my dad didn't like the idea of me moving, didn't, like, want me to move, and I was just like, I, I seriously, like, I just need to move out. Like, Alora was 15 months old, and I was by myself for all that time. Like, I lived with my parents, but it wasn't, like, I was still doing everything, obviously, but, like, yeah. <laughs> that's her dad yeah. it's like i couldn't um just like do everything by myself anymore and i was like i just can't do this i just need to move out and there was just so much more that like went into it which is like drama and everything that i was just like i gotta hit the wrong <laughs> so we talked about it people were okay with it then they weren't then they were then they weren't it was just like a back and forth thing and it was just like i gotta get a move on with my life so i left but, like, they were fine with that at the end, so. People ask, do I still see my parents? Guys, yes, I still see them. Some people think, like, on my TikTok, I've seen comments, they're like, no, her parents probably don't want to see her anymore since she left their house, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, that is not true at all. So, I'm actually going there later tonight. And, like, because, obviously, I lived there for so long with my child. They miss my child. They want to see her. Like, they were used to seeing her every single day. So, I'll go there with her. And we just like chill out there. We hang out for a few hours. I get bored and then I <laughs> come back here. But um, yeah, I still visit them. How did you get your parents to agree with you moving with Jason's house? Is it better or worse than you thought? I kind of like, just as I just said, I kind of was just like, I need to like move out. And it's, I don't know. I think it's like, just like how I expected it to be. Um, like with moving, what about you? Like kind of how you expected or worse I think it's better? easier on Brooke now. But is it harder on you? <laughs> not really. It's well, not hard. Jason was like used to seeing Alora every single day and like doing so much with her and like helping yeah. with the bath and waking up at literally 7 a.m. So. Yeah. That's the only thing that's different, but like I'm adjusted. I don't care. Yeah. I like, like it's it been more. three weeks. So. I like it more, if anything. I have more energy. Yeah. And it's, yeah, it's definitely been way easier on me because like even going to the shower, I, I still shower with her sometimes just like if she's like dirty and like whatever. I just want to like shower her because I'm not going to give her a bath in the morning. But, um, like, so like that, like, at my house, I would just shower with her. I would do everything with her. So now it's kind of like, Jason, can you watch her? I can do this. Jason, can you watch her? And blah, blah, blah. And, like, same with him. Like, if he, like, before he was working out, and I was like, okay, I'm going to put a lord to bed yeah. so he can work out. And, like, when he, sh he never showered with her. So, like, obviously, then I'm going to watch her. And, like, obviously, he goes to work, so he's by himself, and he doesn't have to deal with me. <laughs> he can't see because his hair is, like. I can see, but. For Jason, when do you plan to start your YouTube channel with your pro vlogging skills, of course? Um, I just made a Twitch channel, but like I haven't streamed or anything. I'm still debating if I want to stream on Twitch or YouTube. I feel like it would be easier on YouTube, though. But um, Yeah, we gotta get him some subscribers. We gotta get him some support. And yeah. he can start that. <laughs> if, if you guys show me that you want it, I'll start doing something yeah probably, comment if probably, you guys want him to probably streams first and then videos i don't really want to vlog you can but, do the pranks on me yeah but we'll see <laughs> what happens with it do y'all ever plan on baby number two why do we always get this we're like five <laughs> not right now uh no i'm definitely not planning on getting pregnant don't want to be pregnant do not want to take care of another child for at sure. least two years. three well, I wouldn't mind if I got pregnant at 18. Like, I'm 6 right now. I would not mind if I got pregnant at 18, but I would like to be married before I have another kid. And, like, definitely 100%, like, 
living on my own. So, do y'all still do normal change things like hang with your friends, stuff like that, or do you do less? Less, but we still do. Yeah, like we still hang out with our friends sometimes. Jason, like, he had his friend over for like two days, right? Yeah. Two days, hang out with him, and it was his birthday, and he's like, I want to hang out with my friend. Um, I recently hung with one of my friends um, because she's moving, so I was like, it was her birthday, so we hung out. Um, me and Jason have been, like, we went to prom together, we hung out with people. Um, we're just so far back, like, what the hell? Ew, this is so ugly, guys. Don't look at my forehead. And more arguments now, after the baby, or did you get have more arguments before her? Now. Definitely now. We argued more when I didn't live here, though. Yeah, because most of the arguments were like, you have to watch Allure or something like that. Yeah. If you could change anything about being a young mom or the pregnancy, what would you change? Everything. <laughs> pregnancy, every single thing I would change, like, everything. Um, being, like, a mom, I wouldn't change so much, but, like, more in the beginning, I would tell people, like, like, I would say more how I felt, but um, pregnancy, 100%, I would have never, now I don't think I would have dealt with what I did then if I knew what it would have been like. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? I didn't know what you said. But like, if I was pregnant right now and I knew what it would have been like when I was pregnant, oh, yeah, yeah. then I wouldn't have dealt with the same thing again. Is it living with your boyfriend? It's fine. He's annoying sometimes. <laughs> Do you have to pay for your own groceries, or wait, do you have to pay for your own groceries and do you have to cook your own meals? We definitely don't have to, but we get some food. We go to the store and yeah. get like We've been food shopping like snacks. three times. Yeah, we just get like some snacks. We get fruit a lot, drinks, because like I literally be so thirsty. So, um. Yeah, it's mostly just like fruit and drinks. Yeah, some snacks here and there for Laura. But, uh. Not really like meal stuff, like yeah, chicken. Yeah, not really and like steak. chicken and stuff. So I got steak one time and he never cooked it for me. Cause I didn't know until it was old. But like the other day I got ravioli so I ate them. I got myself some soup, broccoli cheese soup. So like yeah, we go grocery shopping sometimes and obviously we pay for it but his dad also goes grocery shopping. Did you lose so much weight after being pregnant? Like... Yes I did. <laughs> when I was pregnant I gained like 45 pounds and then within... I remember the next day after I gave birth I was already 20 pounds less. Then like so I was 25 pounds and then like a week later it was basically all gone and now I'm like how I was before I was pregnant so just my stomach is less toned like before it was like way like it had like more definition and now it's just like really like doesn't it's just like a no stomach. I think it is it's kind of but not as defined as it was Do you guys plan to get married whenever I would like to get married when I'm 19 yeah probably when I'm like 20 yeah, like, because I don't want to have any more kids after I'm 25 because I don't really want Allura and her siblings to be, like, 10 years apart. Like, like in between. Do you know what I'm talking about? Do your parents pay for your expenses or do you pay for them yourself? Ourselves. Yeah. They um, buy us, like, some stuff, but, like, it's not like we ask yeah, them like for everything. Yeah, like, food. <laughs> like, food and, like, they'll, like, randomly get us, like, little stuff. Like, it's not like... We ask them for a pair of shoes or something like that, or clothes. We buy our own clothes, we buy our shoes, we buy our yeah. room stuff, whatever. Um, my parents have not, like, I'm I'm not joking, like, I'm so serious. Like, got me shoes or clothes since I think before I even had Allura. Because my mom was like, you're going to be a mom now. But, like, obviously, like, she'd get me food. Obviously, I'd live there. She got me food. Um, if we went to, like, the drive through I would usually pay for it myself. Sometimes she would pay, but, like, I'd be hungry. And no, really everything pay for herself. Everything for Laura pay for herself. Like sometimes like like if my mom's at a store and she says cute outfit, oh she'll get it. Same with your sister or your mom. She'll they're like randomly yeah. get like her cute things, but it's not like we're like, we need this, go get it. You know what I mean? Have you all ever showered together? <laughs> What's Alora's last name? She has both of her last names. Her last name is Von Morton. For now. For now. <laughs> If you broke up, would Brooke move out and back in with her parents? No, I would not. And the reason for that is just because basically I made a video about it and people were very confused. Um, so the reasoning for that is because that's 
that was what I chose. I was like, if I move out, I'm not moving back in. And same thing with my parents were like, if you move out, you can't like move back in, obviously. Because now like everyone has like transferred like their different rooms. Like I have three siblings and um, two of them are sharing the same room because like I had my own room and now that person like has that room. So I'm not going to be like, oh, you got to move back together so I can move back in with my child. No, I'm not doing that. And so yeah, we broke up and I lived here. I would just like sleep in a lawyer's room or something. <laughs> How did your family feel about you getting tattoos at 16 and did they have to sign anything? Um, yeah, you need parent consent like when you go get a tattoo, um, obviously if you're underage. And my family, I told my mom I was getting a tattoo, she didn't really want me to get one just because she was like, what the hell. But my dad was fully on board with it, he took me to the tattoo place, got my two tattoos, and all my family likes them and I've showed them and they're like, oh it's cute, I don't really know why I would have a problem with it. but. Yeah, I wouldn't even care if I did. I don't really give a shit. Did you breastfeed her? If so, is it painful? It'll do. So, I, yeah, I breastfeed. Um, it's not painful at all. I know some people think that um, it's, like, painful when they have teeth and stuff. But Allura has literally 16 teeth. And she doesn't. She bites me sometimes, but, like, then she stops because I tell her, I'm not feeding you if you're going to bite me. Obviously, for the first three days, when you first give birth, it's going to hurt so bad because you're not used to, like, someone literally sucking on you. But then it doesn't hurt. Listen, what's your dream career? Um... I like cooking. When I was little, I always wanted to be like a YouTuber or whatever, like on social media. But like, I kind of like thought that that would never happen. But I guess I kind of am. But I don't do that as a job. Yeah. I would, but. My dream career was never like, this isn't my dream career also. Like, this is just like what I'm doing now. But no, I've always wanted to like be a doctor or something and help people. That I've always said that forever. But yeah, Jason, he wants to be a chef. I would be a YouTuber. But like... So why don't you start your channel? We're all waiting. It's like, I would have to commit to it. And like, I also work. So yeah. if I were to do it, I would have to like, turn it into a career career. And I'd have to like, quit my job and stuff. Did you plan on having a baby at such a young age? Um, no. No, definitely not. I always wanted to have a kid though, when I was like, 1920. I always have wanted to get married though young, so I just assumed I would get married and have a child. Um, but no, when I was younger, never did I think or expect to have a child so young. How often does Jason watch or see the baby? She lives here. <laughs> Definitely, I do live here, so Jason's kind of stuck with the Laura every day. No, I'm kidding. Um, no, he loves his child, so. This is her. <laughs> so that's all the questions we're going to answer today. And I hope that we answered some of you guys' questions and that you guys enjoyed this. I hope that you guys learned some new facts about us. And... It's bubbles. Alora says bubbles now, and she brings them over to us and wants them to blow them for her. And it's like, girl, we cannot blow them every five minutes of the day. <laughs> But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, whatever you want to do. And we will see you in the next video. Goodbye. Bye, guys.